our story is Adam and Eve's story. We were hiding in the garden, making excuses for our sin, unable to cover up our shame. Our story is Jonah's story. We were running from God, denying our calling, surrounded by a raging sea. Our story is a prodigal son story. We were wasting our blessings, lost in our failures, too afraid to return home. Our story is Peter's story. We were unbelieving, full of fear and doubt, our faith slowly sinking beneath the waves. But that is not the end of our story. We are all longing to be restored. We want to stop running. We want to be found. We want to believe, and we are crying out for a savior. So God stepped in, into a broken world, into human form, into our very lives, God stepped into our mess, into our sin, into our failure, our fear, our doubt. He stepped into death. And the door shut behind him. Rose and left it all in the grave. He wiped clean our story and started writing a new one. One without shame, without fear, without death. A story full of love and forgiveness. A story of redemption and restoration. It's our life story. It's his story. It's a resurrection story.
die for our sins and to rise again to defeat death to bring us eternal life. God, we praise his name now in our hearts and we celebrate his resurrection.
there is a, a horrible line that's out there that, that we have to have our lives together, have to be perfect to come to God. But the truth is that he wants us just as we are. Because we're broken, we're hurting, and the only one that can make us whole is him. If we just come to him as we are. From where you be, from broken heart, he'll be you come find mercy, oh sinner, come to me, this earth has no sorrow ever again, earth has no sorrow ever again.